Okay guys, it's Bratwire. I'd just like to welcome you to the final walkthrough of the castle build that I did. So here we have the signs to the lower village, south exit, and the black forest back over that way. On this sign post here we got the docks. You can see down there the north exit and the upper village is there. So there's houses down over there. So we'll come to the front entrance. So we got the double doors. We got the green. We went with the green banners. I think we'll add more banners along the front. We got to go farm Gook for that to make the banners. So you come in. You got the main hall and main gate. Off to the right and left are uh, entrances to uh, the guard rooms where they would sleep. So we'll just take a little rip down through here first. So put some beds in and got some uh, locks, rugs, or these locks, the deer, sorry, deer and wolf. And then I'll go this way. So over to this is going to be the second gatehouse. So this gatehouse goes out to the king's, uh, basically the farm. We have the turnips farm and the, the carrot farm over there and then we have the trees here that we're farming. You can see I've still got some chopped down. So we've got some banners set up here, the wall. Big and chunky. So this is the same down to the guard room. So we'll do all the, the lower level. So into the back, around behind the castle. It's just, uh, we'll come back through there. So this is, I have the storage, some storage containers here because it's kind of like my farming room. So I have portals set up to where I farm stone, portals where I farm wood. Stone boxes here. You can see everything's labeled. So back in here is a temporary portal room. I'm not sure if I'm keeping that or moving it somewhere else, but it, it seems to work well in there, so it may stay there. So down here, this this is to the back of the the great hall, which we'll t we'll do at the end. So down here, this is just another exit. So this is another uh, guard room, which I forgot to put the doors on here. And then this leads to the next gatehouse. So at this gatehouse here, it leads out to the other village. So there's a whole village on that side, which I will be doing a, a video later on. And then I'm going to put a probably a core wood house here, just a small like, cabin and maybe one here to finish up. So we'll continue on down. Oops, no resin. Okay, so we'll go down here, and this is back to the front of the castle, which is another guardhouse. So you got the beds in here, and we got some foliage growing inside, and then this leads back out to the main gate. So the main gate. So we're testing putting these iron gates in. I'm, I'm probably going to do the these two doors and iron gates for the look so as you enter in the the great hall is here and we're going to go in there at the end we have that we have it labeled main gate like i said we need more banners up but it, so far it looks good i added some of the temp uh, guard posts up at the top that you can walk to some banners here we went through the north gate so we're going to go up to the second level i got some uh, storage over here this is uh like seeds and my fishing gear and a few other little things. I put them here because you need them outside the castle. So we'll go up here. The front of the castle is it's one of the guarded outposts. And then this is over top of the, the main gate. So you'll come in here. We have uh, beds in here as well. Some rugs down. And we got uh, torches and everything in here. They're just not lit. So the very front of the gatehouse overlooking 
the water, the docks, you can see the housing down there. You, you won't see the housing on the lower side from here because it's, it's further away. But the view, like I planted all these trees. Okay, so we'll go down. So back out, we'll put doors on these I think as well. Um, so back out to the front, it's another top of the guardhouse. So you can look down as well. You can see down into the housing area. I'm building core wood and half stone houses down on that part. That'll be kind of the upper, um, like north and south side of the, the castle. All right. Now the, the top of the other gatehouse. So you get you can see your fields and everything and we have the the fence up there but we are gonna terraform that whole mountain that'll be in a further our video coming along as well so one more guard tower with stairs down and that's where i got my where i'm gonna put the blast furnace and my kiln and all that for now it may it may be going into this spot here out of sight kind of and that's the portal room so the final the final guard house on the tour is right here like i said we're going to terraform all this and i think all up on top here will be all stone houses so there'll be stone houses across here stone houses up there and it'll all be fenced in as well and then that'll be the final part of the the settlement the village area of the castle so we're going to go down the stairs here and then we're going to go into um the Great Hall. I'm very excited. Did a lot of work on this. People that are doing any kind of build at all like this, you're gonna love it. So the front entrance, obviously you can tell we've been farming the boss. So I killed him and then I farmed him again. I had enough totems that I found. So we'll come in through the front door. Main floor of the Great Hall. So we put the banners up fire's going got the throne up the dragon head and your chair and then this entrance is back out to the storage room where whoops where I had where I have my farming room so under the stairs I have um, the food area where you store everything because you're cooking in here so it only makes sense to have everything right there so we're going to continue on upstairs So we have to, uh, we're going to change out the stairs here anyways. that will have to be changed. So this is my bedroom. So we have, we do have a 17 level comfort up here and downstairs. So I put the bed there. I got the heads mounted. I may change some of them out. And then I have my money box, which everybody wants to see how much money I have. That's what I have right now. And then I am like there's quite a bit more yet. I oh geez. So back in here is basically my forge room. I have everything set up where I put potions, chest set up, everything's the size it can go. I do have some storage outside as well. This is all full of uh, is going to be full of armor and weapons that I have extra of my arrows final storage and your workbenches level five size they can go okay so we'll continue out of here and up the stairs to uh, the top floor of the keep so I had to put this uh, log thing over because the fermental barrel wouldn't work because it was too exposed so you have to from the weather so that's why it's in there all right so we got some fog rolling in so we don't, I won't really wanted to show you the view, but it's fine. So we got our little uh, guard things here. We built them out. They trimmed out. They look nice. So here at the back, this is where we're going to build across to over there. We'll put another guard house over there. And then, like I said, they'll be fenced all in. We're going to put stone housing all across there. 
and we're going to put stone housing up there on the hill. I'll terraform that mountain. I'll probably dig it down quite a bit before we do any more. So that, that's going to be the end of this. This is where we're going to leave it off. I appreciate and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the build I did. It took, I would say I, I'm in about 150 hours to 180 hours worth of time in to build it by myself. Everything is solo. And also um, probably about over 30,000 stone in it. Uh, I'm going to do some calculations and find, uh, figure out exactly how much is in there. So I'm on Twitch as well, streaming at uh, Bratwire TV. So go ahead and uh, look me up. Okay, we're going to leave it there for now. Thank you.